Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to attempt to solve this differential equation. So whenever you have a differential equation that looks like some stuff times dx plus some stuff times dy, it's a good idea to check to see if it's an exact differential equation. So to check, you call this piece here capital M and you call this piece right here capital N. And then you compute the following partial derivative. So it's del m, del, and it's the other variables. So there's an x here. So we're going to compute del m, del y. So this is the partial derivative of m with respect to y. So we treat all of the x's as constants. So taking the derivative here, um, the derivative of y is 1, and the 2x is a constant. So it hangs out. So we just get 2x times 1, so 2x. And the derivative of secant squared is 0 because we treat uh, it as a constant. Now we have to compute del n, del, and it's the other letter. There's a y here, so we do x. Just a really cool trick. So the derivative of x squared is 2x. And this is the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So we're treating all of the y's as constants. So the derivative of 2y is 0 in this case. These are the same. Right? So whenever these are the same, so we have that del m del y is equal to del n del x. When these are the same, we have what's called an exact differential equation. Now, there's uh, two ways that I know of how to solve exact differential equations. There's like a, a formal way of doing it, and there's the really quick, easy way. Let's do it the really quick, easy way. So the really quick, easy way is you just integrate both pieces. So let's start by integrating this. So there's an x here. So we're going to integrate this one with respect to x. So just integrate this with respect to x, OK? Because there's an x, so you integrate with respect to x. So integrating this with respect to x, let's see. The y is constant, so we get 2x squared. We would get 2x squared over 2y. So that's just going to be x squared y. I'll write it here, x squared y. And we're integrating secant squared. So we're asking, what's a function whose derivative is secant squared? Well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So this is going to be minus tangent of x. And we're integrating with respect to x. So we have to add an unknown function of the other variable. So g of y, always the case, OK? So when we integrate with respect to x, we add an unknown function of y. If we were to integrate with respect to y, we would add an unknown function of x. So recap, we integrated this one using the power rule. So we just divided by 2, boom. What's a function whose derivative is secant squared tangent of x? We integrate it with respect to x, so we have our unknown function of y. Now that's equal to, we're almost done. Now there's a y here, so we integrate with respect to y. So x squared is a constant, so it's like 2. So if we integrate 2, we get 2y. We integrate x squared, we get x squared y. Integrating with respect to y, it's going to be 2y squared over 2. So it's just y squared. And then we add an unknown function of the other variables, so I'll call that plus f of x, right? So because when you integrate with respect to um, y, you have to add an unknown function of the other variable. All right, now you just use matching. So you write down what you see only one time. So x squared y, just reading the left-hand side, minus tan x, right? We have both of these things, so you write them down. And then you look over here. You say, OK, you already have the x squared y, so you don't write it again. Oh, but you're missing the y squared, so plus y squared. And that's equal to c. And you always put that there. And that's the answer. That's it. We've solved the exact differential equation using what I call the cheap method. <laughs> so all you do is you integrate this with respect to x, integrate this one with respect to y, set them equally to each other, and then just write this down write this down. Okay, nothing else to write down. You already wrote this down, so don't write it again. Oh, you haven't written this down, so you write that down, and it's equal to c. And if you're wondering if this method always works, the answer is yes. Yes, it does always work. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who's learning differential equations. That's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, leave comments, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Thank you. That's it.